My name is Erin. I am the Senior Operations Manager for Three Men Movers, and I work in the Austin area. One of the biggest myths that I find is that when people talk to each other, you know, it's great to have a conversation about, you know, I moved, I did this, um, but everyone's ideal situation is different and everyone's actual situation is different. So what one person says that they had occur on their service may not be what happens on yours. You know, one three bedroom house, maybe a first floor house that doesn't have any steps, you know, the truck can pull right out front and they're right there to load everything. Whereas someone else may also have a three bedroom house and think, oh, well, I can do it in the same time they did, no big deal. But theirs has three stories, and the truck has to park partially down the street because they can't back up the driveway because we can't really pull into a driveway. So one person's three bedroom house can be drastically different from another person's three bedroom house. Really what it comes down to is you have to take into account your own surroundings and be as honest as possible with the agent that you're speaking with and with the crew that you're speaking with. Let them know honestly when they ask questions what your circumstances are so they can best help you and best prepare the crew for moving. Point out specific items that you're worried about. Let us know right from the beginning if there are items that you're very concerned about. You know, this particular item is something that my dad made. You know, I grew up with this piece. Can you please take a little bit of extra time with it? Our guys come prepared with blankets, with plastic wrap to be able to take a little bit of extra care with certain items. We can double wrap something if it's something that you're really concerned about. So we can make sure that we are paying extra attention to items that, you know, do mean a little bit more and make sure that you are walking through every area of the home to show them in advance what it is that they're moving. You know, don't forget to open closets, explain to them these are the items. If you did not bring everything out of the closets, what you need to be brought and what you don't want to go, especially if you're only moving certain items in a home. You know, it's very good to have extra communication with the crew. And once the truck is loaded, it's also good and a great practice to walk through the house one more time with the crew, reopening again all the doors, go outside, make sure that nothing was forgotten on the patio. You know, any communication is much preferred to someone not saying anything, the truck pulls away, and then they realize as they're walking out that something was left behind. Honestly, it comes down to being vigilant. Make sure that you don't plan anything else for move day. You should focus, have your move day be focused, that you are there, you are present, so that the crew who is there and arrives with you does see that you are there with them, you're watching what is going on, and it, professionals will put their heads down and they will work. They want to make sure that you are well taken care of, at least our professionals here at Three Men Movers. We can't speak for everyone else, but it does help whenever you are there and you are present and you are showing that you are paying attention to what is going on. So on move day, don't try to schedule a whole lot of other people coming in and out of the home so that that way you can focus your attentions on what is going on. And you can make sure that as guys are coming in and out, that they are moving efficiently for you. And never hesitate to say, hey guys, talk to the crew leader and say, hey, I'm just, I want to make sure that everything is going well, you know, and if you see anything that you're concerned about, please bring it to their attention. If it is a professional crew, they're happy to talk to you and happy to make sure that you are being well taken care of. If all else fails, Call the office to alert the office. Somebody in the organization should be made aware that the crew is not working as efficiently as you need them to be. And someone should reach out to make sure that there is all working well within that crew and within their system. Communication across the board is the best way to make sure that you have a successful move day. If you're on a time crunch and under pressure, it's still, you want yourself to feel comfortable and you want to be comfortable with whoever is in your house. Take that extra moment to call the company. 
You want to make sure that you bring any issues to their attention as quickly as possible so that they can get those fixed. It can ultimately take a lot more time to not take those five minutes than it could to make that phone call. Be on top of what is happening within your own space. If you have done research to make sure that you are bringing in a company that does have professionals working for them, it shouldn't be as much of a concern. But if there is, never hesitate to reach out to that company directly. For us personally, we have two charges, one that gets our truck from our facility with the crew and their equipment to your first location and then back home to our facility at the end of the service. That's our transparent travel charge. And then we also have an hourly rate that starts when the movers arrive at your location and you sign them in. And then that would continue as they load up the items into the truck, drive from the first location to the other locations, and then unload the truck at the other locations. And then that hourly rate would cease whenever you sign them out at the end of the service. We are not charging our hourly rate from the time our crew drives from wherever it is they're driving from to your first location and afterwards. That is what our transparent travel charge is for. So even if they would get stuck in traffic, say, on the way to the move and it makes them run a little bit later and they don't arrive at nine o'clock, instead they arrive at 9.15, you're not paying for that time from nine to 9.15 with us. Some other moving companies, you are. You would pay from the time they leave their facility until the end, whenever they return to their facility. Because your home means a lot to you. It means a lot to us as well. Mm -hmm. I would not want to walk outside and say to the first three people I see on the street, hey, you wanna come help me move? I wanna do some research to make sure that the people I have coming into my home treat my items with the same care that I treat my items. You may find companies that are less expensive, but they may also not have the resources behind them to be able to stand behind what they say. And part of our motto is that we do what we say always. We want our crews to live by our movefesto and our office staff to do the same. So when we put together our hourly rates, we do keep in mind that we only have professionals that work with you. All of our drivers have been fully vetted. They have worked with the company for numerous years before they get their own trucks. They are backup drivers to other drivers who have already been with the company. So they are training on the job for years before they even become a driver. And all of their crews, they vet as well. And they only want to have people with them who do put that same effort into moving and everything that they do to treat your items appropriately. We also do make sure that we are covered our carrier's liability for our claims. Any damages that happen, we do work very diligently with our customers to make sure that we cover those. They are rare, knock on wood, they are rare, but we want to make sure that as a company, we do stand behind making sure that your items do arrive safely at their destination. And our claims process, our movers are fully involved in. So anything that happens, they know that they are going to be standing themselves behind any damages that occur. So they want to take that little bit of extra time to make sure that items are wrapped appropriately and that your items are securely fastened within the truck so that there isn't anything that happens to them between the time that they load the items and unload the items then safely into your new location. You know, for them, it does take a little bit more time but the time and the effort is well worthwhile because you can call our company and say, hey, look, I had this issue. There was a damage and we will work with you to get that resolved. For us, we don't charge for moving pianos. We don't charge for going up and down stairs. We don't charge for moving a safe. But you do find for other companies that there are unexpected fees that happen at the end of the service and they may not unload the items from the truck without you paying those exorbitant fees that you weren't aware of in the beginning. Make sure you ask in advance if there are fees for moving items such as pianos, heavier items, if there are any restrictions to the weight that items can be. The more questions that you ask in advance, the less concern there will be at the end that 
some people could take advantage of that situation that you didn't ask. We don't have those fees. We do move pianos, unfortunately not grand pianos, but we can move uh, stand up upright pianos. We can move those up and downstairs depending on the situation of how they are placed within the home. Every house is unique. Every apartment is unique. Adding time does happen with stairs. So oh, there's a lot of factors that go into figuring out the timing of a service. And it, it all is more readily accessible when a customer is ready in the beginning of the service. If you are packed, have everything boxed up, and ready to go, it will be exponentially faster than if you're still trying to run around and get things situated when the move crew arrives. When items are loose or in bags, number one, they can be damaged a lot more easily than if they are in a proper box. But number two, they cannot as easily stack those items onto a dolly or within the truck. So those items may need to be laid out in a different way and it does take more time to get the truck itself stacked. Also, with disassembling furniture or um, having items not completely ready for the movers, the more you have done in advance, the faster things will go. We can definitely assist you with disassembling some furniture and reassembling it at the destination site, but do keep in mind that it does take more time. If it is already disassembled, in the beginning, whenever the movers arrive, they're able to walk in, get it wrapped, and get it moved much faster than if things are not ready to go. The same thing can be said for appliances. If there are any appliances moving, we ask that those be unplugged and already moved away from the wall and any links or uh, tubing be unassembled at that time. So if it is a washing machine, something of that nature, a refrigerator, that all of those lines can drain. So it keeps your items more protected because then you don't have to worry about wet items. When it comes to storage moves, one thing that we have to keep in mind is timing of the storage location. Is there a particular time that the storage location will let you in or out? Is it a 24 hour access? Can you only access the storage on the first time you're there until six o'clock? Having additional information about the storage location definitely helps when we are working on dispatching for the services for the day. Um, in storage locations, one thing you do have to keep in mind is how many items you are moving. If you already have a storage facility that has a large unit that you know all of your items are going to fit in, that's great. Keep in oh. mind, talk to the storage facility in advance to let them know what you're going to be moving in there so that you have the correct size storage unit. We It would be terrible for our crews to arrive into a storage unit and the size of the storage unit is too small for the items because then you do have additional time that goes into finding another storage unit which they hopefully have for you for a larger space or even a secondary space in order to fit the items that did not fit in together. So making sure that you speak with your storage facility in advance to get the correct size unit for your items really is helpful. For musical instruments is if they can be crated, that is the best option for musical instruments and also any items that are things of glass, any things that are super fragile. And a TV should be placed within its original box uh, or be crated in order for them to not adjust or shift in transit. Um, but things like harps, things, um, any special musical instruments, they should be boxed or crated in advance and let the crew know that those items are in those boxes or in those crates. So they do take extra special care with moving them. We are able to move gun safes that are of the average to smaller variety. We are not able to move safes that are over 600 pounds. Um, our equipment is rated for 600 pounds, but we are not able to move items that are over that 600 pound threshold. So the safes would need to be emptied in advance. We are not able to take the guns or ammunition ourselves 
a customer would need to transport those themselves and the safe would need to be emptied. Also, sometimes people don't realize that if they have purchased a home and a safe is already in the home, that the safe itself may be drilled into the floor. So if they can figure out and open the safe and see if it is drilled in, that is very helpful when it comes to moving a safe because we don't always, as a moving crew, have the tools to be able to unbolt a heavy safe from the floor that we may need to have that done in advance before we arrive so if they can make sure that everything has been emptied out of the safe and that the safe is not bolted to the floor we are able to step in and get those moved if they are under that 600 pound threshold for office moves um it would be really great to know approximately the square footage of an office and also if we are moving cubicles Cubicles themselves are very time taking. They, each cubicle is different. And if you have the instructions from the cubicles when they were first put in, that is very helpful to a crew so that they can figure out how to reverse engineer putting and taking apart of those cubicles. A lot of offices do require certificate of insurance. For us, we are able to get the certificate of insurance in advance. Um, just let us know 24 hours in advance so that we can get that put into place. But yes, most offices do require a certificate of insurance. And some general moves do as well. If we are moving within high rises or um, different uh, municipality facilities, those do require certificate of insurance as well. It's always best to ask if you are moving within a large building, if a company does need insurance to be able to do so.